a 2023 Shark Blue Porsche 911 Targa 4 GTS. Uh, car came in um, after the owner had ordered it and then did a um, you know European pickup. Um, drove the car around Europe is, is pretty customary for all of those that do pick their cars up over there. Uh, but this owner had previously brought me his uh, Taycan about a month ago. We did ceramic coating on it. And he had actually initially found me on a video on YouTube that I had done of another Targa 4 GTS. And in that video, we had done full body PPF, ceramic coating, and window tint. But he mainly contacted me because his salesman over at uh, Champion Porsche had told him to not just bring this car to anyone when it comes to the tint work because not every shop can do this back window uh, properly. Um, and that goes for so many other different cars also as far as PPF installation goes. Um, not everybody has the uh, experience, the knowledge to do certain models. Some cars are way more difficult to do than others. So anyway, he was, let me bring this up and bring it down. Um, so he was told by a salesman to pick the right shop. So he found my video of the other Targa 4 GTS that we had done. And like I said, brought his Taycan in first. And here's the, his Targa. And we did ceramic coating and um, expel ceramic tint. The reason we did not do PPF is because he had ordered a car with uh, factory installed PPF on the front clip. And on my shorter videos on Instagram, etc., I pointed this out already, but I always tell clients do not, regardless of the factory, do not choose factory um, PPF installation. Let me just show you here. This, you see how short this is where my nail ends, where my nail is. That's where the film ends, all the way down the entire length of the fender. Right there. That's where the film ends. Now we're gonna go to the bumper. That's where the film ends, around the headlight. All the way up here, instead of, whoops, instead of being tucked all the way inside behind the um, headlight, the film ends right there. So all along the bumper, the hood, um, headlights, around the headlights, etc. And what shocked me the most is that while polishing the car, I realized that this front lip has no PPF and this painted black piece has no PPF either. That to me is just, there's no explanation for that because every painted part on a car, if a customer chooses PPF, it should all be covered. And this car does not have that. So you can already tell from just, he, is, he has had a car only for a week besides having driven it in Europe. And if you look alongside the front lip, there are paint chips everywhere already from the very little amount of driving that he has done. So I don't know how the factory works in Stuttgart when they you know, do front PPF, if they for some reason just decide that the front lip and you know, the, the piece around the inserts don't need it. I don't know what their policy is, but they don't have it. I mean, it's just not on there. Um, but anyway, so we did the polishing on this car, ceramic coating, and like I said already, expel ceramic um, film. He chose 30% on the side and rear window. Oops. Oh, this thing is locked. Let's see. He did not want anything on the uh, windshield, so nothing was installed on the windshield. Here we have the interior. Just basic, regular cleaning was done on that. Not much was needed. The ceramic coating is installed inside all of the door jams. It's a nice combo. Maybe not everybody's cup of tea, but I do like the shark blue with the, uh, the maroonish interior. But there you have it. It's ready to go, ready for pickup. And, uh, you know, hopefully he'll bring other work or maybe tell friends about it. That's usually how it works here. It's mostly word of mouth here at Advanced uh, Detailing.